guys, welcome back to my channel. For today, what I wanted to do with you guys is decorate for Easter. I know this is a video that you guys have been looking forward to. I know that the decoration videos are probably the most fun. Hopefully right now this video can bring you some joy. You might have to live vicariously through my decorating. I was ridiculously lucky this year that I started so insanely early. I started collecting decorations in late January. So I have pretty much everything I need to get started. You can see a little couple pieces here. We're gonna go through it all today. I hope that this can bring you some fun and some happiness and some joy in your life. And if you guys are decorating with me, alongside me, make sure to drop your comments down below. Make sure to tag me on Instagram in all of your Easter decor fun. And I hope that you guys enjoy this. And if this is something you wanna see, then just keep watching. What is up you guys? I am so excited about today's video and I'm pretty sure you are too. So I took out all of the Easter decorations that I had accumulated in January and February. Like I said, I started really early, which I was very, very thankful for. So I had this full bin of stuff. I had done a unboxing of all the treasures that I got in two full videos. I will link them down below. I had done them earlier last month. So I basically took everything out of the bin and placed it all on the dining room table. And I will be honest, I did not realize how much stuff I had gotten, but it ended up all working out and it was so perfect. I didn't need anything else, obviously. And I was just so happy with all of the little treasures that I had gotten. So pretty much everything was from Home Goods. I will go through everything with you guys. I got a couple things at Shoppers and thankfully I got some mini eggs and some candies before, you know, we had left for Florida and everything basically went to heck. So I have all of these mugs that I had gotten on either Amazon or Amazon. <laughs> I had found a couple at Home Goods whenever we were in the States and I brought some home, but most of them were actually from Amazon, so I will link them for you guys. Hopefully it's still considered an essential item and you might be able to get them. The measuring cups were from Home Goods and then a couple of the things were just from the drugstore before we left. These fake carrots were so freaking cute as well as that little rag was from HomeSense too and it was just adorable. These extra eggs, they are basically like just decorative filler eggs, so perfect to fill in the baskets that I got. I got quite a few baskets and bowls. So I'm gonna use either candy or the artificial I guess wooden eggs to fill that up. I did get some gnomes and some pom-poms and a couple little Disney treats as well. These mugs, I got a little chick as well from Chapters Indigo, which I will link for you guys because they're still shipping everything and their, their online store is still open. I ended up getting some really cool Ray Dunn stuff, some baking goods. So I got some cute little cupcake holders as well as measuring cups from Home Goods. And that gnome with the with the legs is just beyond adorable. So I started with the bar cart and I actually ended with the bar cart too. So I'm gonna take you guys through everything. I emptied off all the stuff from the bar cart, all the booze, anything that needed to be cleaned off so that I could wipe down the entire cart and start from scratch. We started with a margarita. I was a little bit overwhelmed, so we needed it. I also found some napkins that I had gotten at HomeSense, which were so freaking cute. And then Andre's mom got me jelly beans for my videos, as well as some assorted chocolates. How cute. So we got to work. I will link my romper if I can find it as well for you guys, because I know someone's gonna ask you, as I've been asking about the rompers. I thought this, oh my God, the three little bowls that are, the bunnies are holding are so freaking cute. So I went through, and I started with that rag, I guess a dish towel. I feel like not a rag, a dish towel. I hung that on the side. That little hop basket is from Ray Dunn. And then I just picked a couple of color coordinated alcohol bottles. So I did like a French vanilla and a light, very light pink bottle of champagne. And then I put some of our glasses out. And honestly, some of the stuff you'll see it change like three times over in this video because I just kept taking a step back and then placing it. The pom-poms, I knew I loved that style because I had done that at Valentine's Day and it was so freaking cute. And this little hop, I don't know what you call it, like a bunny holding a hop egg. I changed this like three times. I didn't like that pink fluffy in there. So we went with something else, which I thought was way better. So I had this crinkle paper that is very Easter, which I just got at the drugstore. And then I decided to fill it with some little mini carrots. These mini carrots were from Amazon. I found them randomly and I just thought they were so perfect and I actually ended up using them like crazy throughout all of the decorations. So I put that in the little hop basket. I really liked that. I thought that made more sense because the hop is actually written in orange. It just matched better than the baby pink fluffy stuff. So he stayed. That was a for sure. 
and then I put the rest of the blue crinkle paper in the other hot basket, which was blue. And then I got these really, really glittery eggs at the drugstore. Also, Andre actually picked them up for me. How freaking adorable. I love them. So I just grabbed three and really like pushed them into that hot basket. And then I got grabbed the rest of the green crinkle paper and I made like a little area here with my gnome. This gnome is very similar to the one that I had at Christmas, but he's Easter style with little bunny ears. So of course, and then I used those little artificial wooden eggs in there and it just went so perfectly. So this is that little three tiered or three, I don't know, like three bold set. And it's basically two little bunnies kind of piggybacking off of it. And then I had a bowl that's from the same collection, all from Home Goods, Home Sense, Marshalls, whatever. And they all kind of match. So I had that one over on the coffee table and then some more pastel bowls that I actually kept from Valentine's Day. And those I filled with the jelly beans and then I changed my mind. <laughs> so I ended up putting, I broke one of these martini glasses. So I only have three right now, but I ended up filling those with jelly beans and you'll see what I did later on. So freaking cute. I had gotten these macaroons that, okay. They ended up going stale. And I know if you're in a warmer climate, you guys commented on a recent video, like you can't decorate with candy. I know that, but I guess it's one of the perks of living in a cold climate. Like I can totally decorate with candy and cookies. There's nothing is alive right now. So <laughs> there's no bugs that are going to get to it. So I put some little pink crinkle paper under there and it looked so cute. And then I got to, I kind of went back and forth from the bar cart to the tiered tray to the coffee table and just kind of covered everything as I went through and just like dispersed the different decorations all over the place, like the mini carrots. So I used you guys might remember these little cups from Christmas, but the ones at Christmas didn't have a handle on them. Also, I was not gonna go fishing through my Christmas bins to go and find them. So I just bought a different set of four off of Amazon and these ones have little handles on them. So I put the cute little carrots in those and then I got that adorable basket. The bunnies are actually attached to the basket. So I wanted to fill that with all the extra crinkle paper that I had and then any of the extra eggs that I had also. And these bunnies match the little miniature bunnies that I have on the tiered tray as well as the coffee table and on the bar cart. So I filled that up, put all of the rest of the artificial eggs in there. I think that was the rest of them. And it looked really cute. It was just something simple. <gasps> you guys, you have to watch Peter Rabbit on Netflix. Okay, I will tell you, I had very low expectations for it and it was amazing and the perfect movie to have on while I was decorating. You have to check it out. It's on Netflix. I loved it. So at Halloween, I had a very similar tray that was matte black and it was like Halloween themed and it fit perfectly. So I knew that I wanted to get that hippity hoppity blue tray. And then I got a really cute tea set with the little bunny on top. I love it. So that went there and that could those match the little salt and pepper shaker that went on the tiered tray as well as that tall, I don't know, jar. It's all from, I think it's, oh my gosh, I'll have to, I'll have to link it down below, but it's something strawberry street or strawberry lane. And then I got some little miniature gnomes that had some little dangly legs. So the pink one fit on the top tier and then the green one fit on the bottom tier. And I had these Mickey shaped sugar cubes that I put inside the hop creamer. I have a hip and a hop, so cute. And then I just put an extra mug on the coffee tray. And that's the little bunny that I was talking about that matches the ones in the basket. And then I got these cute set of four Ray Dunn eggs. So there's like bunny, chick, hop and chirp, I think. Chick, yeah. So I just put one of those. I kind of just dispersed them all over the place. And then in the middle of the island, I wanted to have a little pie plate as well. I don't know what you'd call that, like a, yeah, a pie plate, does that make sense? And the little bunny holds it. And then I created a little area near Andre's coffee area as well. So I have just like little moments all over the main floor. Didn't go totally crazy, but crazy enough. So this was the finished product of the tiered tray. I'm super, super happy with it. I will of course post it on my Instagram as well as all of the other decorations. If you want to save them or pin them for, you know, next year's reference or even this year's reference, heck you still have time. So I was super happy with it between all of the Ray Dunn stuff that I got. It went really, really well together. Everything fit. I was very happy. The little miniature pieces worked really well also. So the, the hippity hop plate and then the hip hop hooray cup with the little bunny inside is so freaking cute. And then you can see the two mugs from Chapters Indigo that I also put the bunny and the chick. So this little coffee area, just I'm so pleased with it. So like I said, I had that pie plate pie. I don't know. And I used those little cupcake holders to fit the rest of the jelly beans as well as some more carrots. And then one little, one little bunny, which I thought was cute. Andre got me these eggies whenever he was at the drugstore. They're like a cookies and cream eggies. 
They're pretty cute. So I added that as well in one of the cupcake holders. So that kind of had like its own little little moment as well, which I thought was adorable. I thought those bunnies were so freaking cute. They came in a pack of three. They kind of remind me of Carl. I just thought they were the best. And then I thought that this coffee and donuts candle went well. And I was trying to think of what type of candle I could put on the coffee table. And I went and got my hot cocoa and cream candle from Christmas time, just so the whole house smells like chocolate right now. It totally, it totally fits the theme. So if you have some, you can also order some from Bath and Body Works. I'm pretty sure they sell it all year round, I hope. And then I just filled more bowls with chocolates. Andre's gonna be so happy. And I thought that the other two little marshmallow espresso cups went really well with that hot, the hot chocolate theme. So I put those two over there. And then I did another bowl of eggies and another little Ray Dunn bowl. This one just says seasons on it. I just feel like those eggies were a little bit more damaged. So I kind of had to rotate them and turn them around to make it a little bit more pretty, but they went really well on that hippity hop plate. And then I had these little mini Mickey and Minnie dishes or no, they're all Mickey, just Mickey dishes. And I grabbed the white one and the yellow one. So I also had a red one and a black one, but for color sake, we kept with yellow and white. And I got this spring dish from the Disney store. They still have it. I'll link it for you guys. I always link everything on my like to know it. So if you're not following on there, I'll, put it down below and you can follow it. There's an app and I literally link every single thing that I talk about. So I'll also link these uh, pale blue, those pastel blue dishes that I shared, the salt and the utensils in the cookie jar. This guy is just every, he's everything and more. I got him in Toronto. He's called the Cuddles and it's Thumper. So I don't, I don't think we need to over rotate on it. He's, he's epic. It's literally the best piece of decoration that I bought hands down. And then there's Carl. <laughs> so I got three squish mallows this year, which I think was pretty good. So I got a chick and a bunny and then a pink little bunny as well. If you do not know what squish mallows are, welcome. They're part of every single piece of decoration at any season <laughs> whenever I decorate the house. And then for the table, I just put some little eggs in each of the candle holders just so to tie everything together. But I was really happy with the turnout. I feel like everything worked out really well. There is chocolate and candy all over our house not within reaching distance for the dog so that he can't get to it because we're not gonna have a, a mishap. But just to take you guys through all of the sections, the coffee tiered tray, like I said, a lot of Ray Dunn, a lot of mugs, the little details and the little plates really worked out. And then the little marshmallow dishes as well as the gnome. And then the little console table behind the couch, I ended up putting that gnome. He's a really heavy little dude. He totally matches the one on the bar cart just with the pastel colors that worked out really, really well with the egg. So I'm super happy with that. And I thought that the green crinkle paper actually looked the best out of all of the colors. So this little bunny-esque gnome, he's a keeper, amazing. And then below that I had a third gnome, the little yellow guy, and I just put him on a little stump. And then I had gotten these three little bowls from Home Goods, I think, or Marshalls. And I just thought that they looked cute there. I, just, I can't put candy there because it's too low to the ground for Carl. And then that little hop guy, he actually looks like Peter Rabbit. If you watch the movie, he's, he's adorable. I love him. And then moving on to the bar cart, which I feel like the bar cart to me is where I start and end every single season. It's so important. It's such a feature. So I went and got some fake little flowers, that little tea napkin, I don't know, dish towel, whatever you want to call it, the pom-poms worked out super, super well, except one of the pom-poms is upside down, but it's fine. And then my gnome, he actually stretches out. So if you guys follow me on IG stories, I shared this, it was so funny. He can, th his legs completely stretch out. And I had some little champagne glasses that are actually like iridescent purple. And then this little chick egg on top of a st stack of four egg plates. And then the little three dishes. I thought that was so cute. He's literally like piggybacking it adorable. I don't know what that is, that bunny dish. It's like a cookie jar, I guess. There's nothing in there. I just used it for decoration. And the hot basket was my number one. I would say that and the cuddles is my favorite piece of decoration. It was actually one of my followers on Instagram slash subscribers that told me to go get them exactly which store to go get that hot basket. So shout out to you girl, you freaking rock star. And then this is what I did with the little martini glass. I put one of each of the eggs in the martini jar, more green crinkle paper in that Easter basket, which I loved. And then I just had like some fake flowers. And then, an, oh, there was an extra bunny also that he went next to the carrots. I actually think that the orange of the carrots worked out just fine. I wasn't sure if that would look weird with all the pastel colors, but it was so cute. Oh, and this was so cute too. So that little bowl is from Walmart and I just fill, overflowed it with carrots. And then I got these really, I thought these were so cute, little bunny plates. I think they were like $4.99 at Marshall's. And then I put my margarita dish 
little fishbowl glass and then these spoons are from the Disney store. They still have them and they're filled with almost like little Mickey sprinkles inside. So they're very spring and very pastel and they totally worked out. And then I just put a couple of champagne bottles on that first tier. And then the cuddles rabbit as well as I put a, a pink fuzzy pillow just to go with the other two pastel colors just so that everything kind of matched. And I forgot to mention, I got this adorable tea succulent. It, it's not real, like they can't die. And I just thought it was very, it had a little Disney twist to it as well as very spring. And then I have this basket that I shared with you guys filled with the crinkle paper. I don't even know if it's called crinkle paper. <laughs> I filled that with the eggs and then more chocolate and more candy in there, which was very cute, but it's all gonna disappear. I know that Andre is gonna eat it all. And then I wrapped the swing chair with a little pastel type of pom-pom ribbon. And then I have the, the last Squishmallow in there. So overall, the house is decked out more than it has ever been decked out for Easter. All of this is new decoration. I literally did it for you guys. I have never decorated for Easter before. And you guys, same with Valentine's Day. I had never decorated for Valentine's Day before as so many of you guys requested it. So I wanted to do it. If you guys enjoyed this, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed. More videos are coming your way. I love the heck out of you guys. Make sure to tag me in all of your decoration ideas on Instagram. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye dudes.